namaste to all there is no need for a very detailed explanation on this video of zakir nayak it was very funny so i thought of sharing with you basically you know people are totally taken for granted and then whatever comes to somebody's mind they have documented in books and whatever comes to somebody's mind they speak somebody says that you know allah will bring jesus live and that jesus will tell to all christians that i was not god allah is god you must follow quran i mean what kind of stories these guys are building up day by day is unbelievable and there are people lakhs of people who are seeing these videos somebody is liking it there are people who are clapping in the audience totally unbelievable there is no seriousness about almighty god there is no thinking about how to destroy our birth and death cycle there is no thinking about almighty god at all there is no thinking about vedic sanatan dharma they are only interested in conversion from hinduism to islam or christianity to islam or hinduism to christianity etc etc which are totally man made religions we must focus to go inwards we must focus towards tapasya and that is only available possible when we adopt the vedic sanatan dharma just see the video of zakir naik and laugh for yourself thank you so much namaste om my name is kali selvan mr sorry doctor already say the last messenger is last last messenger is muhammad nabi i heard through my friend that uh, jesus christ come again is it true or not and there was a question that prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam the last nabi last prophet but one of his friends said jesus christ will come again is that is mentioned in the bible also jesus christ peace will come again it's even mentioned in the various verses in the quran including surah maida chapter number 5 verse number 116 and there are no less than 70 sahih hadith mentioning about jesus christ peace will come but the reason why jesus christ peace will come again is because jesus christ peace be upon him was the only messenger of almighty god whose follower as a whole they mistook him that he claimed divinity there's no other messenger whose followers as a whole they mistook that he claimed divinity but the christians most of them they mistook that jesus christ peace be upon him he claimed divinity so that's the reason allah subhanahu wa taala raised him up alive he'll come in a second coming as allah says in the quran in surah maida chapter number 5 verse number 116 on that day you be my witness ya allah subhanahu wa taala oh god i never told them to worship me but i said Abdullah worship Allah Rabbi wa Rabbukum who is my Lord and your Lord so in the second coming he will come to testify that i never told you to worship me but i told you to worship only one god so when the second coming he will not bring a new law he will come as the ummah of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam he will follow the same law of the quran and the hadith he will not teach anything new he will come to testify only to the christians that i never claim divinity and he will follow the law of the quran and the sahih hadith you said is the final messenger is muhammad abi again the jesus christ will become no that's right. the second coming he will not get any new message yes. messenger me to get some message he will not come as a rasul he will come to testify to the christians that never claim divinity he will not get a new message the message that he got the injil was there about 2000 years back that has been corrupted now muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam came so even prophet jesus peace be upon him when he comes back he will follow the message of the quran and the message of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam so as a messenger in following the message the last is prophet muhammad peace be upon him hope that's sufficient one more important thing which i want to tell you before uh, you know closing this video is that you know the difference between messengerism concept and the vedas is very simple almighty god says in vedas that he never needs any assistance he is sapariyagat shukram akayam he is pariyagat he is omnipresent he is a shukram he is all powerful all, all pa- powerful and almighty he does not require an assistance that means like for example uh, in quran it is said that you know the angel named gabriel gets the knowledge from god and that angel will come to prophet muhammad and then that angel will give the knowledge of almighty god to muhammad and muhammad wrote quran or he spoke of, spoke quran something like that is mentioned this is called as messengerism concept whereas in the vedic sanatan dharma there is no concept of messengerism the difference between rishi munis and messengers is very simple rishi munis get the knowledge of vedas in samadhi when they realize almighty god whereas messengerism means that person has not realized the almighty god in samadhi he has not done any tapasya god has given a favor god is doing partiality and choosing one person and saying that okay okay i have chosen you you are my messenger you give my knowledge to everybody this is the difference between messengerism and rishi muni rishi in rishi muni case 
the rishi does intense tapasya for not one janma for not two janma for several janmas because the cycle of birth and death and several janmas is very dis- clearly described by almighty god in the vedas so by way of his intense tapasya over every janma at one point of time bahunam janamanam ante at one point of time that that rishi muni sadhu tapasvi he realizes the almighty god and the knowledge of almighty god vedas in samadhi mit because god is omnipresent sar pariya god he is omnipresent he is within the jeevatma he is within human body so god does not require an angel to give the knowledge god himself originates the knowledge of vedas in samadhi even today so this has to be very clearly understood of course i am this this video is mainly for those brothers and sisters who are like you know one one guy sent me a comment uh, i think one month back he said sir because of satyartha prakash reading satyartha prakash i did not convert into islam religion because i was about to take conversion to islam religion then i read satyartha prakash after reading satyartha prakash i left all the other religions then i have taken shelter of vedic dharma so he has understood what is the original form of hinduism that is the vedic sanatan dharma so he said that because of satyartha prakash i have not converted myself into islam religion then i he understood the errors in quran what uh, marshid anand saraswati has written in the 14th chapter so must be very very careful with people like zakir naik that's why i try to make every opportunity to expose him to give some knowledge to you guys so that you can spread these kind of videos that we must be aware of this kind of self declared scholars and we must try to adopt the vedic path thank you so much namaste om